Welcome back to Tech Talks by Pre Corporation. I'm Chris Bormas, and today we're going to further talk about the hater bar. Last Tech Talk, we talked about the most common problems we see the clips bending, rolling, breaking. We talked about issues with which housing should I use. Today, we're going to talk about a couple bigger topics, which are going to be how to reline a hater bar denture as well as how to make a new prosthesis for a hater bar over denture. So to start, when we're talking about relining a hater bar over denture, there's two simple steps we're going to want to do before we do anything else. Number one, the undercut area between the bar and the gingiva, we want to block out. We want to make sure there's no undercuts between the bar and the gingiva. Second, we want to scuff up the saddle or skirt portion of our, our prosthesis so that there's some mechanical retention for our impression material. Now number three, and this is big, we're not going to cut out the clips. We're not going to cut out the housings. The vertical has been established. The bite has been established. We don't want to have to reestablish this information. Leave the housings in place. Leave the old clips in place. We'll replace them later. All we're going to do, we're going to block out the undercuts, scuff the saddle area of the prosthesis, and take our wash or reline impression. Once we've taken that impression, there's two different analogs we can use. One is an aluminum analog. The aluminum analog is more sturdy. It can be reused if you like. And of course, the aluminum analog, you take a disc, cut it into sections, and snap it into the clips inside the prosthesis. The second analog option is a Delrin analog bar. Delrin is an excellent material. You can process acrylic against it. It won't stick to it. But Delrin is easier to manipulate. You can take scissors and cut it. Of course you can take a disc and cut it. But the same protocol. You cut the Delrin bar down to the length of the segments in the mouth. Index those back into the prosthesis. Pour up the cast. Your cast will have the analog bars in place exactly where they are in the mouth. Why is it important to use the analog bars? Simply because a traditional hater bar has a 1.8 millimeter diameter retention zone that tapers down to a 1 millimeter wide bar segment. That's a very thin bar segment and if we're pouring it up in stone that's often going to break. So if you don't want to use the analogs, which I recommend using, you can try pouring it up in a harder material like an epoxy, but if you pour it up in stone, it's not going to work. So we have our master cast. We have our prosthesis that we need to reline. The one step I'm going to recommend before we process the reline, remove the old clips from the housings. Take the green processing clips cut them down to the height of the bar and simply stick the green clips into the housings. It'll protect the area around the clips. It'll keep processed acrylic out of that area and it's going to maintain the function and fit of the prosthesis. After the reline has been processed, pull out the green clips, put a new final clip on your hater clip tool, snap it right back into place, now, this is a really simple tool to use. It's got two ends on it, the insertion tool end. This is probably going to save you 10, 15 minutes and a lot of broken clips, and I think this costs $10, $11. Make sure you have one on hand. It's, it's worth the time savings. You pop them into place, and you're done. The prosthesis is relined. It's simple. It's easy. Again, don't cut the clips out of the prosthesis. Don't cut the housings out. Don't try and put impression copings or any units like that on the bar. Anything that's an impression coping for the hater bar system that has a clip inside can pivot and move. It's going to be inaccurate. Keep it simple and it works just fine. Thank you for joining us today for part two in our three part series on the hater bar. Have a topic you'd like to submit? Email us at techtalks at preet.com. That's T-E-C-H-T-A-L-K-S at Preet.com.